in him. You are all welcome. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I welcome all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Today, I just came with a question mark that the Lord asked me yesterday night before I fell asleep. I was asking him after we finished doing that prayer. Amen. I said, Lord, what am I going to, to do this season? What is your will and your purpose when it comes to the word of God and when it comes to the things of God? So the Lord told me, yeah, you need to go and talk about transformation. So I didn't know how to talk about transformation. And I, I thought, how am I going to discuss about transformation? We've been talking about it. The Lord said, I shouldn't preach as if I'm preaching for people of the world or people who are saved. I should preach in general, ask a question. Are you transformed, renewed, or you are still conformed to this evil world? That's the question mark for today. Which category do you belong? Instead of us calling each other children of the world and children of God, let's just ask and answer this question. Which area do you belong to? Are you transformed or are you still conformed? And I'll read some scriptures and discuss a couple of things we shared, what the Holy Spirit wants to talk about and wants me to share is what I'm going to share. Then you can choose for yourself. And let me tell you, it's not easy to stay in the line of God because this world seems sweeter than God. But this world is sweeter when we are living, when our bodies are still walking on the surface of this earth. This world is not sweeter when you die, when you cannot be saved. So this message is for everybody. Slay queens, Jezebel spirits, witches, gossipers, slanders, cheaters, liars, pastors, apostles, evangelists, whatever you are. This message is for you, even me. Just pick your side, don't be offended. Don't kill the messenger. He just sent me. But before we start, I want us to first do one worship song. You know, I like to acknowledge my father's presence. That's how I quit pray. Hmm? So let's do one first. Let's just welcome him and just be ready for the word of God. Eh? Only you. Thank you. 
go and give. Hey? A lot of Christians in the church are not born again. They are cowards and hypocrites hiding in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sister Angela Stewart, did he make twerking? Did he make your mouth that rubbish? No, it's the devil that is making you as rubbish. What are we talking about twerking here? And I can twerk for the Lord because when you dance, there is no style of dancing for the Holy Spirit, you fool sister. You are a fool. And I'm sorry, I have to put you in your place where you belong. You are too old with your mumu face like a dog. Let's carry go. This is what I'm talking about. If you are transformed and renewed by God, and let me block you, Sister Angel, and the one who liked your comment. Sisters, give me one second. I want to get rid of Sister Angel and Sister Chikondi. Give me one minute. You are stubborn. You are stubborn and that's why you think you are transformed. You want to talk back to us. I am that kind of pastor who don't take that rubbish. Ask any stupid question here. Eh? Please. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. If you have Jesus in your life and you are content with how God has made you, why are we at all like this? You know what is conformed? Conformed is the comments. The comments you write here on Facebook, they show how much you are still conformed to this world and not transformed. Yes. Yes. God did not make you with makeup. And I'll take you to the scripture. A lot of people say makeup, makeup, drinking, smoking, slander, backbiting, gossip, all of these things. Did they come from your mother's womb? Did you correct that, collect that bad belly from your mother's womb? Those of you who are snatching your bodies right now, making your bodies to be beautiful and sexy and fine, I have a question for you. Eh? Hello. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did you come out of your mother's body like that with the Botox? The fillers? Jesus wants us the way we came. That's what he told me to tell everybody today. Today is not about slay queens. Today is going to burn the house of the Lord himself. You and me. Pastor wives. How are you transformed when you are still carrying things of confirmation of this world? One who's got God in them does not come with negativity. That's why when you hear people come with negative comment, I give them response of negative comment. They are showing me who they are because look at me. I came here this evening to talk about the word of God. It needs to show you who I am. And nobody knows if they are going to go to heaven. We thrive and survive and fight for our salvation every day. Even me, that's why when you tell me, sister, that you are insulting, you are doing this and this. The reason why I keep coming here, even when you call me bitter, angry, disrespect me and try me all the time. The reason why I'm go coming back here in the name of Jesus Christ. The reason why I come back is because I'm trying to fight for a place in heaven. Trying to survive, for, trying to, to save him so I can have salvation. It's not survive. Doing what he wants. And what I realize is serving God is very hard. Because you have to, to give up everything that you have been conformed to. People have been conformed totally that they do not even understand what world they are living in. All these things that we do. The Bible made, the, the Holy Spirit made me write this this morning. He said, what is being conformed to this world? That is the first question. And I'm going to take it to the Bible. I want us to read 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. And let me tell you, this morning when I was watching a man of God preaching this way, after yesterday night, I thought to myself, Father, is it me just feeling myself to go and preach about this way, the Lord? But the Lord does not confirm one. He confirms, he puts a whole red carpet for you to give you confirmation and understanding of what he wants you to be. So a lot of us, we, God has been warning us, make up, nails, ah, it's a choice, conformed or transformed. And a lot of people right now, we carry our Bibles, yet we are still conformed to this evil world. Yet we cannot live without the things of this evil world. Can you live without internet? 
If Jesus said today, give up internet, can you give up internet? Some of you, oh, it they break your heart. You see how women get angry when we talk about makeup. Who is the first person in the in the makeup and in the in the world? I mean, in the Bible as well to put makeup on. Who is it? Jezebel. So if you thought makeup was not good for Mary, the mother of Jesus, makeup could be better for you people. Even the one who carried Jesus in her womb, she had to be transformed. You people want to save Jesus with conformation, and you want to play dumb dumb with him. What is being conformed to this world? Being conformed to this world is not caring if you're on Facebook or TikTok, living a double life. Being conformed is doesn't care about what type of comments you write. Being conformed, you don't have any sympathy. Being conformed, you don't even have any wisdom and knowledge. You speak anyhow because in this world, they have opinion. That's being conformed. Being conformed is actually having opinion for anything and anyhow. That's why people are making lifestyles and money on online over gossip and slander. Most of these channels, reality show, is about gossip and slander. <laughs> the things that Jesus don't like himself. How do you think we are conformed? We are transformed. Excuse me. <coughs> Truth is bitter. This program show lifestyles we are promoting. They are still confirmation of this world. Even in the church, people refuse people to dance in the church. But look at us. People refuse gay people to come in the church. But most of the singers, most of the artists, famous big gospel artists, including CCY, they have gay brothers performing behind them. Why do you want to be wicked only when it is good for you? Today's message is for the house of the Lord, actually. It's not for the one who is on the street. It is for you and me. Are we transformed or conformed? First Peter, let me go there. Give me one minute. People like to say, I love Jesus. I am for Jesus. How are you for Jesus? You cannot, Jesus is looking at women going to the saloon to go and pay for makeup, to go and pay for hair and nails and beautification. When children are outside here, sleeping hungry, you are transformed. Hello. Jesus is starting in the house and today he said I should not speak to the people of the world. He said they are believers. I should leave them alone because they are believers. I so aware when they walk naked because that's what they choose. And ignorance shall find forgiveness in the presence of the Lord. But who deliberately nonsense and sacrifice. Sacri obedience is better than sacrifice. Children of the Lord, obedience is better than sacrifice. We want to trend and to belong to this world. That's the thing. Conform this to this world. A lot of Christians, they tell me, you are insulting, watch your language. You are so conformed to this evil world that you even condemn the works of this same father you bow down to in the heaven and ask for mercy. Because if you are transformed, that little girl yesterday, her message, she said, if the Holy Spirit is in you, what makes the Lord angry makes you angry as well. When I see people in my country thinking I'm calling people names out for nothing, you think God is happy about you women promoting everything else apart from whatever will never make you enter heaven. Your makeup, is it going to make a judgment? Your clothing, is it going to make a judgment? Your TikTok, everything you are doing for this world, these things we like. We have got job, lifestyle, social life, enjoyment, and part of things. Are they ever going to be judged? Is God going to give you marks or no mark for that? We play with our lives. We have only one life. When you die here, when you end up in hell, people are crying in hell. They have ended up in a place where there is no comfort. Transformed where? A woman of God who is transformed does not sit and eat on the table where Jezebel spirits and evil spirits are seated. I am a true woman of the Lord. It's better to say no to everything that is of this world for me to keep Jesus. Because Jesus does not dwell in everything. He consumes everything that gives him his time. In truth and in spirit. But Jesus does not eat from every door. I'm transformed. You are talking too much about
about people of the world. Let's leave people of the world. You people of the, the house of the Lord, judgment has begun. Somebody tell somebody, the judgment has begun. Jesus is not playing. First Peter 3, chapter 3, is very easy. First Peter 3, verse 3, it says, Our beauty should not come from outward, outward atonement and as braided hair and the wearing of gold and jewelry and fine clothes. Our beauty shouldn't come, period. Don't do it. Shouldn't. What is the past particular term for shouldn't? <laughs> now I start to sound like a Nigerian comic. What is the past past term for particular a uh, past term of a uh, shouldn't? Shouldn't. You are going in the house of the Lord. Jesus has refused this generation, which is worse than the generation of Noah. The generation of Noah, they wanted to to knock with angels. This generation, they want to take Jesus to the pulpit and the Jezebel spirit and stand at one place. Shouldn't. It shouldn't. Why do you do it? When did you get to the level where now every month? Women, let me tell you how much money we spend when we go to do this thing. Looking cute. For what? Looking cute for what? Who are you looking cute for? Is that looking cute out of what? Is it going to give you Jesus? Are you going to make it before the king, my sister and brother? And you see how the devil is alive. Even men be worried like women. Men be dressing like a shower girls. Tight pants. With their, their, their ma, madiga showing high that they are hungry. Today I see a video of a pastor telling a couple to kiss. I said to myself, I said, when people are not transformed, we do filthy things at the pulpit, and you cannot be surprised. If you are still conformed to this world, you think a man of God who is transformed by God is going to allow things of sex at the pulpit? No. There is no miracle that Jesus ever did of sex in this world where he was disgraced. Every miracle that the Lord did where a, a sexual, a, 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 a inferior spirit was in sexual morality, he did it with grace and order. Our outward is making men of God lose it and they change. Today I saw one. God, I will show you. The is from my country, Zambia. The pastor was telling the girl and the guy to kiss at the altar. And Christians get angry at me for dancing in the spirit for the Lord. People are asking people to come and kiss each other at the pulpit. Mm. And you ask them how you feel with children around. The Jezebel spirit, we are not transformed. We are still conformed to this evil world. That's why a man of God is still watching pornography. That's why if you are transformed, when you wake up in the morning, a lot of people say you like to wear these clothes. Yes, I bath and I change my t-shirts, my bra, my underwear, yes. But the clothes, I wear them two, three times. I don't go out of this house. What am I What am I making myself up for? And when I go in the presence of the Lord, does the Lord require anything of me outwards to look anyhow? I have it. I don't even need to. And I'm so excited that Jesus has given me the grace. My kid sister is going to come here for three months. I want her to pack all the clothes and the shoes when she's going back. I told her, don't come with anything in your luggage. Come empty. Come and take everything. Me, I can do with this and that. I wash it and clean it up. Because saving Jesus is very simple. If you just follow what you want, if you are transformed, you don't still go for Confront people are still worrying in the morning. What am I going to wear? Am I looking good enough? Confront people, women. You are confirmed. You are going to church on Monday. You do not think about what you want the Holy Spirit to do for you in the morning. How he will touch you and fire you. You are on your mirror, checking your breath. Women, African women now, are posing like a shagaro. You know how the devil has confirmed us to where African people who are they used to call bush people are now smelling. Now pause this one. Now pause this one. 
Suppose somebody made a picture for me and send it to me. This child made a picture for this one. Yeah? When you wake up in the morning, some of you, you don't even think about God. How can you use me to fix somebody else? God has conformed, has transformed you, right? But your conformish, hoish ways are still running after you, worrying about how you will look. We don't even dress to, to be comfortable. We dress for a purpose because we are so conformed. We even know what appeals sexy and fine. If you are God in you, do you have time to worry about how sexy and fine you look? Is it about that? Which God are you for saving? Because the God I found, the God I found, to tell you the truth, the God I found is so different from the God that people are saving. Let me, for the first time, for the first time in my life, Father, and because you said so, I will never do anything that God does not allow. Give me a second. Give me one minute. about appearance, isn't it? Wait, wait. Oh, the devil is alive. I want to finish the dish. Wait. The Lord said I should do something that I never would normally do, but I'll do it today. YouTube. Wait, wait. I go carry you too. To show you that even me, I'm a human being like you, and I used to be of this world. I want to show you something. And this is not to be prideful. This is not to show off. I want all of you. Your cameras are standing. Thank you. You see those shoes in there? It's from top to down. Conformed looks like that. Conformed looks like that, my brothers and sisters. I said conformed looks like this. Look. This is how conformed I was. I just want to show people because people think that I am poor, I am suffering. I'm talking about since the God I saved, not to show off my lifestyle. The God I saved. Because if we are saving God in truth and in spirit, this is how God makes me feel. These things, I'm telling you, I want them gone so much. I've tried to even give away. To tell you the truth, this is how conformed I used to be. And in the basement and downstairs, these are clothes, shoes, piled on shoes, on shoes. I think in total for myself in this house, for those of you that are on, on the other Facebook, this is how conformed I've been my whole life. A lot of people think the whole top is boot over boot. When you start heel over heel, when you start sneaker over sneaker, and then if I have to tell the truth, half of the sneakers are in my bedroom, down the bed is full of sneaker, Nike, whatever sneaker you can think of for my job and everything I use. So this is how conformed look like. A lot of women telling me they have Jesus. You have Jesus, you, you are still slaying like that. I could go to my bedroom. My husband has no place. Hair? Huh? Sister Lizina Chipe Pechu. The reason why I showed you my heels is because a lot of you Zambian people who are useless, you think I have nothing. But actually, I have twice than your mama, your father, your mother, and you, the devil. I have more. I'm not showing off. I'm trying to make a point in truth and in spirit. The Lord says, show them the truth. I am not rude. I want slay queens to know the truth. I have a whole closet for you. I could dress you for the next four years. You wouldn't have to buy shoes. Oh, yes. I could take you even to the basement. But I have been transformed. I'm not conformed. If I would go to club, I would make a lot of women cry here. I am a singer. I used to perform for important people. So when it comes to clothing, it was either customized or something that I couldn't even afford on my own. So my sister, Sister Lizzie, 
I'm showing the truth. Stop being jealous. It, it injured you with your four or five pairs of shoes that you are putting here eh? on Facebook to make other people look bad. This is how you are conformed. Looks don't matter. That's why the Lord will not bless a poor man. He will, he will bless a man with wisdom. It's a lot of you African women who are poor here with four pairs of heels. Not even brand Chinese. Let's speak the truth. The truth is. Four or five pairs of shoes Chinese brand that you wear every now and then on Facebook. Here. You have killed your friend's motivation and life. You call yourselves children of God. But you are so loving to carry things of this world. Oh yes, I knew Zambians will be hate. They will call me mad. Brother Kennedy, come on. Not to kunch that mad. Brother, not to kunch that mad. 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 You tell me, Kennedy, you are not white, you are black. Behave like a man. We don't like black men who behave like prostitutes. Period. And we are not afraid to tell them. We are women of the Lord. What do you think? When Jesus put Esther in front of men, what did you think? Men bow down to us women. They say, what do you want? Half of the kingdom. Shut up. I'm the apple of his eye. Don't talk rubbish when the message touch you. I will teach and respond to you who are fools. And if you do not like it, just leave my page. Because that's the truth. Because a lot of people talk. Show people the truth. I'm not poor. I'm not poor. I'm not poor. And I can tell you that you will never see me wear those things. I've been transformed. That's the last thing I think of. I look at my closet and I think, that's why I'd say if I would open my closet here, I know a lot of people, that's why they say, when you meet Bill, Bill Gates, you wouldn't even know that Bill Gates is rich because he doesn't show it. You think you have clothes, labels. I used to work for companies, remember? I've moved also. Jesus has given me an opportunity. Eh? I've moved. So when it comes to clothes, ah, uh, not even the biggest leg queen of my country can come and talk about clothes. No. I've been given an opportunity to No, it's not pride. It's not showing off. No. No. And that's just the truth. But where are they now? You know, when I went to bury my mother, Jesus was preparing me. I didn't understand. I went with so much human hair to my country to just go and give all my sisters. But now, when I think of it, I should have burned those hair. We do not belong to this world. We do not. Yesterday, I was talking to a cousin of mine. My handbag, because I don't have anywhere to put them. They are also hung there on the corner because Papa Rockefeller said we have to make space and this whole week, that's why I been the day of the cake. We've been throwing things away. I've been throwing things away. I told Papa Rockefeller, I said I don't need this. Hmm? What is he going to give you? Those pairs of shoes. I can say if I would think how many pairs of shoes I have and if Papa Rokafira was in here. In general, the vanity things that will never take me to heaven. I probably had four to three hundred pairs of wigs that I would just change whenever I want. I have a big, big box like this, a plastic one, where there is jewelers. I have two cases of earrings. Jewelry accessories. Then they have put them on top of the closet, just pack them all of them in one thing. Makeup I threw away. Hair is gone. The jewelry and the clothes and the shoes are the last. And to tell you, even in this opportunity, when people meet me, I've met people who tell me, Oh my God. Hmm? Oh my God. What can I buy for you? Clothes wise. At first I thought, oh, because people, they want to think they are feeling sorry for me. So the first route of my ministry, I will take it because people will tell me, dress well. 
look nice, this and that. But the God of Abraham, he has stopped me from wearing and dressing up like I have. He told me, why, why am I living in you if you are still conformed to this world? Mm? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's why only Jesus knows who is a rich man and a poor man. Go be going out here worried about being. Let's talk the truth. We are talking to you people who are in the church. How are you conformed? I opened that closet for a purpose and the Holy Spirit told me open this closet. Because some people have bought me things. I've received things. I had to stop it. I refuse. Mama Joy, good evening. I refuse when somebody gives me clothes. When I started ministry, I then have shoes. They are tags here. People love people of God so much to make them look good. The Holy Spirit asked me one time, he said, what about feeding the need? I don't take presents in clothes or money. I don't. And I'm not that type. And I'm not poor. I just have too much. Sometimes I laugh. I'm like when I see comments when people are telling me at birth a little bit. I'm like, you don't know the other that has been trained to be a professional singer. <laughs> you don't know. But I have Jesus now. Those things don't move me. Let me just block a couple of people here on the other page. Those things don't move me. Never. Can never move me, not even one day. You know why? Because I have so much than what money could give. I have God. I have God. And oh yes, now I can understand that really when you have got God in you, when you start serving Jesus on a different level, let them insult you and talk. You know exactly. And some of us, we've been born and created to be rich. Not too proud at all, CC. This is a fact. We are rich, blessed, favored women. Don't see what you see on their appearance here. Go in the realm of the spirit and ask the Lord, who is this woman, Lord? The Lord will tell you. <laughs> we are meant to be rich. When I say rich, blessed, anointed rich, because we actually gave up what Jesus doesn't like. And yes, my sister, sister Od, I am proud to be a daughter of God. I am proud that I'm not a slave queen who is looking at Chinese shoes to wear. Mm -mm. Come get some if you need. I'll give you for free. And it's not proud. It's what keeps your life moving. You see how Christians are worried. I opened my closet. Jealousy go pour out. That's why I could never take it to my bedroom. But one of these days, I go come here with clothes. Let's put labels on labels. Because some people have got Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. That is fake. For what? I showed you in case you thought that we are serving God. For what? Jesus is greater than all of that. The truth hurts so deep. That's why instead of listening to the message, you're busy at my closet. <laughs> Sister Lizzie Nash, you can hate on me. You will never get to where I am and God will never bless you like me because of that. Keep running with your evil conformedness of this world. There is nothing about this world that is great. That's why you write comments and rude. You found the right pastor. We preach. We fire the devil. We rebuke. We fix you. We don't even care what age you are. Am I too proud? Leave me for Jesus. Because Jesus is really proud of me. Yes. So tell me about it. Those of you who have been going to church. I see a lot of you. And Eliva Mwewa. You too. How are you transformed? You women are liars in the name of the Lord. A lot of you on your Facebook. Auntie Eliva, I love you. But I'm just going to call it the way it is. 
You cannot be a daughter of God and want to possess whole behavior. Jezebel spirit behavior. All the time on your account. Never one day. See how many of you are here, Eliza? See how the devil conformed you. You are somebody that knew Jesus very well. Eliza, well, better sister. You, you knew God very well. But have you seen how the devil has changed you people? The so called children born again of God. All of you are posing the same. That's why I showed the shoe and people are now. Uh, uh. Yes, because I used to be of the world. I have Jesus now, and I'm not perfect. I see you and Eliza. Once a Masamba, Arians, everybody is bathing because they want to make a picture because they are so conformed. The selfie is confirmation, confirm, a confirmation to this world. See people selfie, even you and Eliza. But intelligent, educated people. They behave like Mumu and shrines online here. So it happens. It doesn't show any English manners or any cuteness. It will take you to hell. Go and read your Bible. I am conformed. And tell if anyone else, if anyone else, we will to church. We will be But use the prophet's book, Boston. My bitch. Which God? You are going to hell. Stop scaring people of the world. Let me tell the church. Ah uh ah. -uh. Never. I would never stop praising the Lord, no matter what people say about me. Thank you, sister. Uh, what's your name? PLC Nawal. You are right, Mona Wamai. Banga can be better for wisdom. Idimo, Menoswanga, it's a wisdom. Madame Jacu Bokunya and Abodaya. Murumbarimo. Madame Kamba Tukwa. Yes, who are preaching? They don't have Baba, you must become an Abutuwa. Sorry for the language for the other people. So conformed. The Bible in 1 Peter 3, verse 3 says, You shall not be transformed by how your heart appears. You shall not be. Worried, you shall not atone your beauty out of your appearance, out of your outer appearance. It's everybody. How many of you, your profile picture? Which who has put a profile picture here when they were not raised? So conform to the world that even the, the profile picture you put on your pages, it's well prepared. Am I lying and telling them? And deliver man, Muewa, Oromwan, are you here? Better sister. Well, I can come, son, and sis. Munumati Konda won't say, can Till it be the seducing maid, the way we dress these days. It's everything. I wish I could can put something on a demonstrate here, but I don't have time for that. It's everything. Even the way you are in church. I look at it. Pastor wives. Pastor wives in church these days. Pastor wives are allowed to dress like this. Isn't it that Lebron Natasha dressed like this? Let me give an example. Pastor wives, we are dressing like this. Gospel artists. I'm talking to everybody who says they have been serving God and they are transformed. Rachel Nanyangwe, you are one of the people I want to ask. Are you transformed or conformed? Because I see you say you transformed, but I see conformed behavior. I'm not talking to the people of the world. Actually, today, leave Mutare. Mutare has chosen that life. I give example to my Zambian people. Sorry, I mentioned names. There's the way it is. The truth go on. I'll leave her because that one, she, has, she actually is aware of what she's doing. She wants to be cute. But you, Rachel and Yangwe, they sing and they gospel sing. You want to be cute too. You are fake children of God, a lot of you. Hypocrites. Still conform to the world, but want to carry the Bible so hard. And then when people preach the truth like this, it defects you. Why is it vexing you? Do you want to go and enter hell? The reason why I have to talk, I'm just a messenger. Excuse me. It's because your blood will be on my head. Pastor wise, Mama Joy, am I wrong? Kenyans come here. Doesn't Reverend Natasha Scrivet show up to here? Transformed, right? Same as the gospel people in South Africa and in Zambia. Tight, nyashes, tight, tight. You are so conformed. So if you are, if you are so transformed, I mean, you are so transformed that the Holy Spirit did not tell you because me when I dressed inappropriate in this house, hey, even in my own house, the Holy Spirit, the, you know, when you are like having a a, a mother-in-law behind you. 
When you have been changed by God, the reason why you think I wear the same things and you don't think I don't care, not because I don't have hope. I have too much clothes that actually I don't even need those clothes for one person. I am a fool. I look at myself and say, Father, the closet that I have could have bought even a house and a car for my father. True. But I was so conformed. When I entered Europe, I did not take my opportunities and use them wisely. Because when we come here abroad, Van and Magaliza chain Vova and clothes are very easy here to buy my brothers and sisters abroad here. It was online. I didn't go on the shop. I matched my size once, I got it, and I would order and it would come. For what? And a lot of you women will say, yeah, but God looks at the heart. The God I serve looks at the heart and he has even fit my appearance for him. I don't come here like this for you people. When have I ever tried to come sexy? When I was being meeting God, there was even a red pad that I have that's got slits here. I came to dance, I didn't know anything. But now to the level where I am, ask Sister Margaret, my big sister, she's here. I can never wear that. No, but when you're getting raped, you are so transformed, eh? Hmm? In my mind, we are so transformed. That's why Esther and Tari can sit on the same place. If Esther is transformed, how can Esther be happy to sit with somebody who is half naked? The God herself tells me when there are two women around me dressing naked, and I tell them that it's inappropriate to dress like that and they don't want. How long are they moved when women are talking about how to date rich men and how to be a gold digger and a slave queen and anything else that is nothing to do spiritually with God? How long are they go? Fire. Do you see me? I'm out. No. You are so transformed by God. These are the dresses you are wearing, sisters. Lord, let me just demonstrate it to you. These are the dresses. Wait, I'm coming. Wait, I want to put it well, well, so that my pants don't go stand up. Come in, my boy. These are the dresses you are wearing. So transformed. I wanted to take my pants out, but I just I said, let me leave it. I wanted to give demonstration. You see how long this top is? This is a dress to some of you. And when you are walking, and the same dress, you go up to bend over. Ah. Uh, Hi, Yeah. Sisters, look at my children, especially this one. Sisters, this child is so close to me, even the way he wakes up in the morning. He doesn't leave the bed until I come out. He stays there with me, kissing me, hugging me. Ada, Ada, mm, you see this. Baby, is it true? I can buy a class, so if I have to take a broken, yeah, my dad. Give me the change because I cannot hold him in my hand. It will be. So, do you see the dress I'm wearing? Let Apostle get on my back. I want to demonstrate. Hello. Look, he's clapping. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. <laughs> My last one, look, he's coughing for life. Papa. No, Sister Rosanna, I will not put any lining. I think it's time to just speak the truth. Because even me, there was time I used to wear bum short. I can't wear bum short even when we're alone with Papa Rocafera. Baby, baby, Dad, do I wear makeup? Do I wear bum short? No, do I dress up even when I'm not on live, even when we go to the supermarket? You will catch me the way you catch me on live is the way you catch me at the supermarket. So if I look dirty on live, I look dirty at the supermarket. Because it's my life now. It's not a game. Look at you people who are saying you are transformed. I am so ashamed on the Saturday weekend. You are a freaky, freaky stripper. Dress up to here. Sisters, have you seen my talk? This is a top. This is what you are calling dresses. And you have to bend over and pick something like this. 
And it's a shame on a woman. Because the Bible says itself that a woman is more worthy and precious than ruby. And that a woman, God called her wisdom. He moved with her. The woman of these days transformed but still living in confirmation of this evil one. How? Huh? How? I want people to get the truth. I want people, I want to put this down as law so that people can understand. Father God of Abraham, people will never learn if we don't show the truth. My son, come here. Come here. I want you to stand behind me here. Come. Come. Don't be afraid. This. Hello. My sister, don't judge me. I want to give example because the truth will set us free. This is who you are, my sister, who we are. These are the dresses they are selling. It looks like baby dresses. This is how we are going to change some of you. This is how some of you are posting things on social media, just like I used to before it didn't matter. I am Jesus now. Are you okay as a woman of God, even just as a woman? What am I doing with a common thing like this? Where am I going? Your legs, your thighs, where your pride and your respect and dignity should be covered. This is where now the devil and Jezebel sleep. Women, we have no shame and we have no boundary. The reason why I said this is because I see African women making it on TV, dressing like this. Oh yeah, if you are going to judge people of the world, I want the Lord that said, let's say the truth and the truth to set up free. Come and see me. So all of you women of the Lord who are dressing like this, you are wet in the eye of the Lord. Even in your home, don't you know that the Jezebel spirit can enter you? Don't you know that you are naked? Huh? You want that man, man marry you. And which men I hear some people say my man like me skate. So this man like me to be like this. Why doesn't he want to see me? In the bedroom we can see me naked 24 7. Why should my own man who say he care about me and respect me want to see me dressed like a whore? For what? For what? That's the devil. And that's how the devil, the Jezebel spirit is working in the house of the Lord. At Sunday, you are at church as a pastor wife. On Saturday, at the beach, at the supermarket. Women are dressing like this. If I am lying, say the truth. And I want you people to look at these legs that are left and right. Women are dressing like this. Let's talk the truth. Here. This is how we are dressing, sisters. And it's a shame, look, I have sons. I have sons. Mm -hmm. There are sons out here. The first encounter of sin, sexual morality, and private parts was their mother and their sister. And you do not even know how to sit when you wear small things. In this same small dress, Mama Joy, can you believe these girls as women? We want to put our big, heavy ties together. How can I put my ties together in this small dress? Eh? Excuse me. Go show you the truth so that you can see yourself. Maybe you can realize where the devil has got you. As I'm a woman of the Lord. Which woman of the Lord? Which your breasts so push up there, smelling up your chest. I'm transformed. People who are transformed, they don't even have sense of fashion. That's why when people tell me fashion, how can I have Jesus have sense of fashion? I can only pick one. Jesus don't have sense of fashion. Jesus have the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, consuming truth and righteousness. He don't have sense of fashion. Jesus can't deal with slay queens. Jesus can't deal with people with fashion and makeup. Jesus don't even have room for people who are still stuck on TikTok and Facebook who want to make a good life out here. How? You know me. I speak because I used to be there. I used to dress like that too. Me, I shout. I remember my first outing with Paparo Cafe. 
when he was my boyfriend, we didn't even get pregnant yet. We went to a club, Vite Vite Stand. I was wearing a certain dress that I even have the pictures in the old computer. My yash was all out, and I remember how my man had to start covering me because I wanted to pose. We were enjoying at the lounge at the park. By that time, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. I then put my leg, cut my whole yash out. A man who loves his wife. A man who loves his wife, brothers, and fears the Lord, will never do that. Allow his woman to leave the house like that. Because even in my own house, Papa Roca said, this man was saved before I met him, and then he backslides. Papa Rokafera is a white man and I would, that's why I call him villager because Papa Rokafera would not even allow me to put a wig on. He would make me feel like I'm... Every time I wore a wig, the comments that came out of that man's mouth, they finished the beauty that I had because he would compliment me without a, a wig. And the way this man loved me without anything. Now me, the devil, through my sisters, my Zambian sisters online and when I came here abroad, Oh my friend, I remember we are the fat cow association of the Zambian community here. Most of them are still fat cows right now. You see somebody who has a tie of an elephant wearing a size two. Where are you going? And it's condemning you to leave you people walking around naked here. The way women are dressing, church women, the Lord says that we should not be our representation as children of God. Our dressing is the last thing. Our dressing is the last thing with God, my brothers and sisters. That's why I tell people, slay queen with God. How is it possible? When I started ministry, I used to come out here dressed, African rapper. Mama Joy, do you remember? Mama Joy, yes. My Nigerian mama even pay enough money to buy me to make me African things. They are sitting upstairs there. I packed a box, a big HM box for African stuff and just materials that I'll never use. The Holy Spirit told me packaging for what? Dressing for what? Mama Joy, do you remember when I started ministry? You are my witness, Mama Joy, remember? But God told me, for what? He who has Jesus has no sense of fashion or Omega. So conformed. I want to be conformed to God to a point where I do not have a problem with how I look. Before, I used to get angry. They are calling me dead. Now I understood. The devil calls you dirty when you stand under the light of God and do what God, what is pleasing to God. He's so clever. YouTube. And join. That's why you see tutorials. Women don't leave the house without preparing. My sisters, you know the easiest life I have is when I just finish to bath. Engineer, bring Vaseline. Pastor, bring Vaseline on the table. I go apply Vaseline. Free life. Come out of the dance of the dinner. I am. I will read something that I wrote. The Holy Spirit said, Did God make you with makeup? Why are you not transformed? Or renewed by the word of God? Eh? You, why do we spend time on things that will never give us spiritual growth? Does your makeup give you spiritual growth? That's a question, answer yourselves there. Write this question and answer yourself. Does your makeup, appearance, and preparation give you spiritual growth? Please write and answer yourself. If it's yes, you know, we, there are some people who's God that he needs. Like Jezebel's God, if you put makeup on, it gives you power. But not the God I said, the true living God. Second question. Will money and wealth give you any spiritual growth? Will social media, trends, apps, and all of these challenges give you any spiritual growth? 
and to me made me right if you are serving the true living God the answers to all these questions is a no so to all of the ones who are serving me and yet still doing it this is the, 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 the question the Lord told me I should ask does God even care about all of these things No, God loves me the way. Yes, God loves you, but uh, I want to ask you. Why are we not changing? If you are conformed, you start looking. These days, how I live my life, from the difference of who I used to be. These days, I think of, if I do this, is it going to please God? These days, I think, if I do this, is it going to give me spiritual growth? I ask myself, if I don't brush my teeth, is it going to take away my spiritual growth? No, not even spiritual growth. Go come out if I don't brush my teeth. If I don't put makeup, am I going to miss God's presence in my life? No. These days I ask myself, what do I need to be transformed from the old confirmation of the things that have been moving with in this world because I've been conformed a lot. Imagine from the time we are conceived from our mother's womb, we are sinners. When we come to this world, a lot of us never used to put makeup. Even me, I've never been a makeup gay. But as, at a certain point, I met women and I joined because I came from Zambia without even understanding what makeup was. I didn't like it. The only time that I would do makeup is when an artist was doing makeup on me for a show. I can't even do makeup on my own. And I feel sorry because there was a point when I want to go out with my Jamaican friends. I want eyebrows to be done well, well. And I have to bother my husband, say, baby, can you do this? And I look at, I've seen some women who tell their husbands, can you help me with this makeup? And you, you wonder why men are behaving like women. <laughs> eh? This child, tell them, you, you are wondering why your man is behaving like a woman. You are proud and happy. At first I was proud, I thought, oh, it's love. He's helping me with makeup. God of Elijah could have used this man on how to read the Bible because putting makeup on each other's face will not take us to heaven. What spiritual growth is in there? So the devil is alive. I wasted my time. Now I do not want to waste that time. Because it's not, God will not lose anything. God will still be God on his own, seated on that throne. Now me don't want to vanish my life because of this world. For what? For what? Tell me about it, my sister. And I want us to go to another scripture. Please, shall we also read uh, 1 John 2, verse 14 and 15? 1 John chapter 2, 14 and 15. The Bible says, Write write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. Wait, am I reading? Yes, first John. Yes, my version, the other could they bring me the other Bible on the day? Okay. This my baby version version is always confusing when you read it. Oh yeah, let's go. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you you have overcome the evil one. 15. Do not love the world or anything in it. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We love the world so much. Everything, makeup, TikTok, fashion, social life, the vanity things. We love the vanity things because if we didn't love them, why don't you drop them at once? Let me tell you when the Lord said you have to stop makeup. Margaret, remember, the women in my group, Joanne, remember, I kept that makeup because the makeup was too expensive. There were some makeups that I even, celebrity makeup that I used, I, I got some from, from international shows that I did not even want to throw away. Because that's how conformed I was. I said, I'm keeping them. If I have a show, I'll be using them. I took Mark Bowder, Mabel Lee, Bobby Brown, everyone you can think of, black or pearl. And there was even this other makeup that was new. Mm. 
I packed all of them. Joanne, you are here on life. Am I lying? I took it and I remember it was a whole trash bag. I showed the whole group it was a whole trash bag. Makeup, perfume, eyelashes, everything you can think of to slay yourself. I put them in the bag and the Lord told me to show all of them on Zoom that I was really throwing it away. Because at that time he made me almost for a month have it in the house. But I was not using it, but it was just in a bag. In a, a, a box, I mean, the drawer, I had to put it in the box. Do not love anything of this world, though. The God of this world is Satan himself. If you are transformed by God and renewed by his word, the last thing you think about is these things we are talking about here. And the last verse I want us to read, I also want to read uh, Genesis, I want us to read Leviticus 10 verse 10. This man was reading the same scriptures as me this morning. <laughs> this is the Pastor, one take a thing and go and try it because you know you would just go and look for a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one doesn't try. No, after this week, after the cleaning I did with all the white closet in the house, you are not getting anything. So sisters, as I was saying, forgive me. Hello. We are going to read another scripture. Leviticus 10 verse 10. And this man was reading the, the same message, almost the same thing that this man was talking about. This morning when I watched the show. I said I will not go now because it will look like I, I watched this clip and I came to speak out of my mind. But God ministered to me yes and I this I went to go. You are transformed. Do not love anything of this world, though. Do not love anything of this world, though. This world has nothing for you. Do not love anything of this world. I am telling you, do not love anything of this world. Run away from the things of this world. The things of this world, they are trendsetters. That's why you see why this world is wicked. Even right now, we have a very big danger. The past should remain the past. We should look forward to the future and what God has. But the devil wants to be repeating time. Fashion of 19th sister is back now. The devil is not allowing people to grow. He wants to keep them in a slow, intolerant mind. What has passed has passed. That's why there was Abraham. There was Moses. We are here now. Live a life that is going to give you Christ. Don't love this world so much. A lot of us, we are spending time on the things that of this world they will never give us Jesus ask yourself everything you do these days as a child of God if you are performing you ask yourself is it going to benefit the children of heaven is it going to feed my son is it going to give me any spiritual growth is it going to help my life and it is it's looking like it's very funny to live this social media life that people are living isn't it it's not great but remember when we are all going to die the last day you will die are you going to say that because everybody in your church had a Facebook account and they were making selfies. That's why you made selfies. Leviticus. Let's go. Check. Leviticus. Don't do anything of this world. No. You love this world too much. You love this world too much. That's why Satan is working hard, developing all difference of creativity and wickedness just to save us because we eat from his day. Wait, let me Leviticus chapter 10, verse 10. Later, guys. Leviticus 10, chapter 10. At least I can use some light here. Amen. Sorry, let me just move it like this. I need some light for that. 
the big cartel in the state. The Bible says, you must distinguish between the holy and the common, between the unclean and the clean. You must distinguish, which means Christians feel judged. Judge yourselves before you leave the house to go to the pulpit with tight clothes. Judge yourself before you write comments or you allow any thoughts and wickedness come out of your mind. Judge yourself. You call me mad and I talk too much. It's here in the Bible. It's here. Ask yourself. This week I am wearing. Eh? Eh? This week I am wearing. Even right now, those of you with wigs, touch that wig of another human being. I want you to get it. That's not your hair. That's somebody else's hair. They might be dead. They might have diseases, sicknesses, spirits, demons, and they just took their hair off and they sold it to you. It's on your head now. And you are called Rachel Botha, Daisy Child. What do you want the Lord to do with you? Well, God will change me. Yes, that's why when I started, God allowed me. Because a lot of you were telling me, look clean. I used to come clean here. Yeah, I used to dress up. Isn't it Jesse Chan? Dress up, dress up. I didn't listen to people. Dress up, dress up. The day the Holy Spirit started telling me, he said, why are you doing like all of them? It was almost like me and him having this conversation. Like, why are you doing this? I'm like, but I'm supposed to look modest and look fine. The Lord says, for who? And I remember what the Holy Spirit told me. Why is it always when I save you, you come to me? The first thing you think about is beautifying your outer appearance. Who has found a modula or a data or a way, a method, how we can teach people how to clean from the inside and how to make up the There's nobody who knows a model or modula. And modula is in the Dutch word they talk. A model or method of how to, to save and bring people to Christ. We don't spend time to discover those things. But there is a way to put makeup from cheeky bone to total bone. And you have Jesus. And you are on the mirror. Contouring the same face which the Bible says fear, fear and wonderful in it. Is it true, Sister Olivia? How can that be? And that's why we are not a lot of us. That's why Corona came. Because even the CC wines, they have to wear because they put makeup too. So nobody can, the church needs to stop thinking they are holy. I love CC wine, but when I look at two, I see all oh, special folks. The same thing. They are women of God with still confirmation ways of this world. You remember Tasha Cox? And uh, there is power in the name of Jesus. When she started, Tasha used to dress like a woman. You remember the covers, long dresses and stuff. Have you seen Tasha Cox now? Have you seen Tasha Cox? Tasha Cox, the slave. Tasha Cox, the slave. children on the surface of the earth right now. The word of the Lord, you can say that again, is a sharper than a double-edged sword. It didn't penetrate. Queen Esther did not adorn herself in makeup. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Go and read your Bibles and stop interpreting the Bibles wrong. We just read from this verse from 1 John. Stop lying, my sister. Queen Esther did not adonish herself in makeup. Never. It even says in the story of Queen Esther. Esther, would, if it was makeup that made Esther picked up, there were more beautiful women with makeup than Esther in that story. Read, read the story well, well of Queen Esther. Don't be thin. 
Amen. Read the story of Queen Esther. Don't do that with him. Come on now. Read it well. Read it well. Spiritual cleanness. You are busy talking about Sister Esther here putting on makeup. Did you ever hear of the beauty of Esther? Do you know why Esther made it to the Bible? Because of what Esther did for the Lord. Some of you, the Lord, has made you beautiful. Hey? Brother, sister Jasmine Zwadin Jao. I am not judging. Let the truth come out. You are children of God. Don't be a foolish fool. Don't. We are all sinners. That's why I ask, are you transformed or conformed? And sister Jasmine's word, from your response, you are still conformed. You are worried about your looks. And I see a lot of you. That's why I said the Lord does not have a lot of children in this world. Satan has got more people on his side than God right now. You don't believe it? It's the truth. Say you petty. Rubbish, damn nonsense. Stop judging others. Worried about makeup. You will be judged when Jesus is asking you, especially you women. The Lord will show you a picture. When you went to do makeup for 300 euros, 200 euros, when your own nation and your own people, in fact, your own brother and sister were hungry. This is why Africa is still suffering. So, brother Jasmine, if you have the problem with the truth which comes from the word of God, go and get choked in the thunder of the Holy Ghost. But shut up here. Keep your stinky, satanic breath far away. You are the reason why a lot of people will not change. Yes. You are becoming comfortable with everything that Satan is selling you people. But you forget that when you die, there is only one way you go. Take the weight, sister. Don't be a stupid fool. Talk about Esther. Uh-huh. Esther was a woman. Uh-huh. Yeah. The other one, I threw it away already there. Esther was a proverb woman. Proverb woman. Go back to scripture. We are lost. We are lost. So lost that even when somebody is telling us we are lost, we are even rebellious and stubborn. And for all of you who have a problem with my language, I don't care. Sister Kamben, you can remove the comment or block yourself. I don't care. I'm here for the people who want God. This is what is happening in the house of the Lord. I'm not going to sit with pastors that are still saying they're transformed with their mouth, but their action. It's your action, not your mouth, that makes us know that you are conformed. You are transformed, I mean. It's also your action and what you are fighting for. That's why when I started this message, I had one question for all the petty warriors. Yes, I don't have time to just speak nice to you. For what? You like this world so much, isn't it? Go sleep with Satan. You love Satan. Take Satan with you. Let me preach the gospel the way it is undiluted. Make up where? There will be a department in heaven where they will judge you on makeup. I need people to understand one thing. Judgment is me. And before the house of the Lord, including me, all of you, that's why you are very offended. Oh, that judgment. Why talk about CC Wine and Tasha Cop? Shut up. I mentioned their names. Do I run? They are men. And the truth shall remain the same. This is nothing new. The Lord made this way. When I hate the word of the Lord, no, focus and listen to the word of the Lord. Don't tell me what to do. Sister Teresa, respect yourself. You didn't call me. God called me. Shut up, sis. I am very aware. Look, I'm preaching and rebuking you at the same time to show you who I stand. Yes, I got no time for prideful, rebellious demons. Rebellious demons, they make me just want to tire them. They have no manners and wisdom. Shut up. People have ended up in here. When you go to church these days, Pentecost church, they all dress like Nigeria from head to toe. I asked the question. You have found a method and a model on how to look well and put makeup and prepare yourselves. 
Have you found anything on how to be refined and renewed to help people to come to Christ? No. Because the devil will not allow it. That's why he wants to pick everything of his like it's his. No, the devil is a copycat. He knew that the only way to get you people out of the presence of the Lord and without you people know. A lot of you are wearing makeup and fake hair. You've been out of the presence and the anointing of the Lord long time ago. Stop like you. Long time. Long time. Long time ago. Because you know why? Jesus says you have demons are rebellious. And that is determined. You, you are getting the message away. The Bible says, here I wrote, when we are saved, we are new creatures in Jesus Christ. We are transformed. We are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of the Lord. So tell me about it. The devil saw you beautiful worshiper. Lord, I worship you. If you ask me a stupid question, I block you until the end of the video. Ella. Praise the Lord. Lord, I worship you. You are in front there. Jezebel met up in you. The devil convinced you. He saw you as a powerful soldier. Because you don't need to add anything. What you need, God will put it in you. But the devil is very clever. What did he do to you? Ask yourself, where do you put makeup? What does it benefit you? And who is the fool who has allowed Satan to ruin their life to put something that you can put and with the same water you can do like this and remove it? You spend thousands in money with it. Who is the fool? And Jesus don't bless you. African women, Jesus don't bless you. Mm? The God of Abraham, God bless you people. For you people to be slay queens. The God of Abraham, God bless you people. So you can buy makeup and Indian hair. Eh? The same God of Abraham can should bless you people to go and give his money to force water gods. Oh. You're lying. You are a liar. You are a liar. Sister Jasmine's bad. Let me block you. Bye, sis. Go and open your own page and minister there. And I also want to ask Sister Chimuala Esther. Remove that like my sister. Keep going. Jezebel daughters, you ruthless demons that are busy here. Conforming the children of the Lord to the wicked things. You can be dressed from head to toe. Look at you sisters. You are dressed like thoughts. And you want to call yourselves children of the Lord. Yes. The world can say that Jesus is just after the heart. But Jesus has never lived in a street. Where? Oh, so sisters, what? You mean Jesus is just after you can do anything and God is about the earth. So the Lord is inside those girls that are putting yash on the stage. Pa, 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 pa. The Holy Spirit is in them. Shut up. Don't confuse the children of my father. If you are on this page and you want to come and speak rubbish, I will insult your biological mother. Your ethnic biological mother, I will insult her. With one insult that will bring you and your family to shame out here. Keep quiet. Let me preach the word of God. It is demons and rebellious and stubborn labanet serpents like you that make the message not heard on my page. Today, shut up. You can be moderate. Moderate was never to be putting makeup and hair. Moderate was never even worrying. Actually, to be moderate is to not care about fashion. To be moderate is to be what this world calls a village fool and mumu, which I am. Moderate way. Moderate way. What did Mama Oji tell you people all these videos that you are seeing out here? Stubborn, lavanet, vampire spirits. Don't worry, you made your bed in hell. Go and lie down there. And if I sound rude, you are already going to hell. You are comfortable with Satan. Why are you getting angry? Shut up, Zwart. Now Jesus make unakari with our ways. My brothers and sisters, today's message, and we are not even having prayer tonight because the Lord said we are going to be.
be having every day different. Yesterday was praise and worship. Today is the word of the Lord. Are you conformed to this world? Or are you being transformed by the word of God? Which one again? If you want to know very well what Jesus needs, ask yourself, when you enter this world, if you have to look for the daughter or a family member that was there at the hospital to find out how you came out, go and ask them. What did you come out like? If God didn't put it on you, who told you you needed it? Where you put it? Piercing earrings. Did Maria have to pierce earrings to show that she was a woman? Even piercing boys. And you wonder when they are acting like competition. Generation of no, no knowledge. The cleanness that Jesus, that's why somebody said cleanness is next to godliness. My sister, the cleanness of Jesus has nothing to do with makeup and perfume. It's your heart and your soul and the spirit that dwells within you. That's the cleanness that is close to godliness. For everybody who wants to know what is cleanness next to godliness, it is when your soul, your spirit, your heart, your body, your whole you in their existence has intertwined and become one with the Holy Spirit and God is living within you. That's the cleanness. Not what you see here. Because I thought the Lord has said, why am I, are they always insulting me? And you have, you've seen I have the things. I've, I've, let me tell you, I talk to the Lord like it's my... The way I would sit down with my husband in person. I thought the Lord has said, I have these things. And let me go and look nice. Because they are telling me that I'm looking dead. Especially when that woman took my picture and said, look, the most dirtiest woman is Ada Jesus. I cried. I'll never forget. I said, look, they're saying I'm the most dirtiest woman. The Lord told me, stop crying, child. I love you like this. Oh yes, he said he loved me like this. I told him, let me just dress up for you. Small, small, let me just rah, rah for you. He said, no, I love you like this. And when he said he loves me like this, I have not gone back to change. How? Who do you want to save? How do you want to leave this world and who do you want to be to be your father in the end when you leave this world? It's very easy to accept the things of this world because that's why all of us were taking part. It's not easy to love the things of God. The things of God, real children of God, I'm telling you, You'll find them with no electricity, no eating meat, no nothing to do with technology and all of these things of the world. And people who call them weird, this and that. No. They preserved and saved their relationship with God. It's better to live without electricity on the earth if it's going to give me the relationship I need with God. It's better to live without fashion and makeup on this earth and be known as Rachel Botha, the most dirtiest, bitter and always whatever woman they call me. But at the end of this journey, I will stand before the king to be judged and I can be able to pray and worship him. Because the devil is so clear. He knows the good life that's after this life. This life is not even beautiful. The life after this is the most beautiful. And that's why we don't know the whole information about the life after this one. Because if we had all the data, I know that a lot of people would live life different. But right now, we are in this world. World of Facebook, world of trends, world of this, world of that. Did it ever come with God? 
Does God need at all? Does he need it at all? Does he need it? Does he even look at it? Does it even matter to him? Ask yourself that. No. But the devil gave you all the time. He took all the time of your life, your destiny. And he used it to turn you into a slave. A moderate. Moderate. So-called moderate. Before moderate was women putting their wrapper and dressing. The moderate of these days, I just showed it. It's a small little dress like this day. <laughs> That's the moderate. Confirmed how? It goes deep than just dress code. Gossip, slander, malice, backbiting. How can you be transformed with Christ when you're on Facebook here? Your hands are so quick, vaping and throwing vapor. A child of God does not have a carnal mind. And that's why when you come here and you're calling yourselves the children of God and you're coming here with carnal mind and rubbish, you see the way I insult you. That's how I'll treat you because you deserve it. You said you know Jesus. Why don't you move in the righteous way of Jesus? I don't go, I don't attack nobody. My biggest fight in my life has been here. Hello. Slandering. People are going to church with a married man who is not officially divorced and you are saying that you have been transformed. Transformed by the Lord. You are sitting on somebody's husband and you have been transformed by the Lord. A lot of women are crying right now by women who go to church and they have taken their husband and they have pulled it like this. This is the whole entire Africa. My kid sister is one of them. A shrine Jezebel spirit out here went to go and ruin her mother with my brother-in-law. She's sitting there. But you know the God of Abraham. What God has put together, no man can separate. That girl, I look at her. How can you say you have God? Your friend is crying and in pain because you decided to finish her marriage. you you surrender that married man you even go and look for the woman as a real woman of God you go and beg on your knees forgive me for doing this to you transformation for life because when you are transformed you then go to beg for forgiveness hello you become a they say you have all yourself carry yourself carry go go apologize to the side chick the the, the ones you have been doing with this thing that's the confirmation the transformation I'm talking about the transformation I'm talking about is you know that Jesus don't love it. You leave it at once. Because my relationship with God is all that matters more than anything in this life. Because when I have Jesus, I can be a better mother, better wife and everything. So I put Christ first. And I would rather, it's not what God is. It's not what people see of me, how I look here. It's the image that God sees of me. That's why a lot of pastor wives who are putting makeup. Africa has been polluted. And a lot of Nigerians, sorry, I have to say this. Almost every African country, they dress like if they dress like uh egoes now. Pastor wives, expensive, rather wrapping themselves with women in the group who are sleeping hungry and whose children can't go to school. And they call themselves Esther. Sister, Brother Godwin, you can say, which Esther? Esther of hell. There's Esther of hell, just like Jezebel. Jezebel, she likes to come to the side of the Lord and represent herself. Sister uh, Jitch, don't worry, don't cry. You will not cry for your husband too long. I've been praying in private. Every woman who knows the Lord very well has been so called transformed and is still sitting with a married man. I've been praying every night because this is a, is a personal issue to me when it comes to my kid sister and her, her children. So this one, sister, don't worry. This year, every woman that was sitting with a married man, they shall cry, they shall say, I wish Lord had stopped doing it. Jesus is going to whip them, he's giving them chance. Especially you people who carry Bibles, 
so-called transformed, but you are still sitting on a married man. God has mercy on you, you fool. Yes, you are a fool. You went to test and provoke the Lord. If you are going to do hoish behavior, that's why the Lord said, Jezebel, don't let us speak. If you are going to do hurrah rai ashaw behavior, go and do it out of the house of the Lord. But you, you are so stupid. Ebenezer. Ebenezer Moyo. You call yourself at the daughter of God. Husband snatcher. To all the wives who are crying for their husbands, I want you to cry extra. Those tears, Jesus needs them. Cock your enemies in the right space. Bring them to the right altar. Go to your, please, go to the Lord. I pray for every woman. I pray every night and I'm not finished. I'll actually go seven days fast on life here with you women. Because believe me in the name of Jesus Christ. I would really, really want women who take married men to understand. You just don't destroy your sister's life. You destroy children's life. And you stupid idiot, Including na maya. Ero family yangu amaka bossa kamba kile vivozi pa Facebook. But nini na chuo zile? Iwe na nyoka kwa dis. Ada kwa bossi ni kana hii. Ero court ya kuzambia ni bema rubi shiri bena nzeli. Si yoki ya hii. Nika bwera kuzambia. Kuka yao kwenye vichao china. Because the fire I'm coming with, I am telling you, it will burn even your old father's legacy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I promise you. Which God? Your daughters of Jezebel. And when somebody says, Die, the Lord will let you die. You are wicked. Ruining homes. And I wonder, these pastors, that's why a lot of prostitutes and Ashawa, they are sitting at the pulpit as pastor wives. That's why the church has no grace. Because in my church, you can never come with a married man's story and say, Mama, I that Jesus as an apostle of the fivefold ministry of the Lord. You come to me and tell me that Sister Ada is a married man, he's still married to his wife, but we're on the side. You and that married man, I'm putting you on the meat. It will be me sending the thunder of the Lord upon both of you. Well, that's how a woman is God. I you think I'll sit on your secret and allow sexual immorality, wickedness, and then to all the men that are busy saying they are transformed, you go to church. But you are sitting in homes of psychics. Alex, you can open your mouth and you can say, God, bless me, God, bless me. God will never bless a man that leaves his own family to go and raise another family. You don't like my truth. Sing the Bible. God will forgive ignorance and God will forgive people who change. That's why I said to if you are transformed, really, you will go to the owner of the husband. You will go and ask for me. You go and tell her that the devil had me, but I am here to ask for me. Because the sins you collect, especially you women, when it comes to the marriage men issue, are you going to change? That's the danger you made. Living in sexual morality, taking the Bible and holding it, that's an abomination and a taboo. The Lord says if you cannot save him and you cannot give him complete, leave. But to come and provoke the king of glory and taunt him and test him with your life like that, sue your Bible. The sue you. You are not afraid. That's why if you are not going to do it for God, don't start in the first place. God is not a man. He cannot be cheated. He cannot be mocked. I feel sorry for you girls and boys. I call the men boys. Because you, remember Abraham. Abraham chose to leave Hagar with a child. Men who leave their wives. 
It's not a marriage blessed by a man or because you met a woman and they like her. You like that. The same marriage is blessed and ordained by the King of Glory. The Bible says, let what God has put together, no man separate. Why you are satanists or courtist witches when you are taking the word of God and you say you have been transformed but you are still doing the same things you are a witch you cannot be sleeping with a married man and tell me you have been transformed transformed by who? when God starts speaking to you the same night when you receive the Holy Spirit, the same night the truth starts being revealed. You even feel uncomfortable. The next time you don't take underwear for a, a married man like that, eh, hey, you have gotten used to separate marriages. The message the Lord said I should say right now, I hear the Holy Spirit. Those that have decided to devour the covenant of marriage, that God is the only one who said marriage shall be ordained by this and create children. Those of you who have decided to devour the covenant of marriage, the Lord says, I should tell you right now, here, your own time is come. You are not dumb. You are not slave queen. You are not better woman than the woman that you are giving stress. Uh -uh. You are digging your grave. I just say in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, because the truth is here. Repent, change, be transformed. But if you choose to be conformed, May you rest in peace in Jesus' name. R.I.P. to all the women that have decided to keep other people's marriage. May you rest in peace. Oh yes. Because you are dead already. You're just walking. It's a matter of time before your body catch up with you. You're seeing that you have decided to see. You think Jesus is clean? And you see new people at church and you are fasting. And your pastor wives and people at church are entertaining this. Which churches? That's why Jesus has closed the church. Jesus don't have a lot of children in this world. That's why he would have come. He can't come. Who is he going to find? Out of all his people who are serving him in the world. We are sitting on secrets on top and wickedness. Jesus will not love you if you keep even one small sin. With God, it is everything or nothing at all. And in the presence of the Lord, there is nothing like, ah, but I feed the need, I do everything. I just put makeup on. A human, give everything up. That's how hard it is to save Jesus, isn't it? It's to give up all the things of this world. So to everybody that's crying for your marriage, I'll join you people. I'll come later on tonight. We're going to have a 30 minutes prayer. I want to pray with all the married women. I smell the food now. We finish right here. The time has reached. Hello. I'm running time out here limits on the other half. So I'll see you people. I pray that you get this message. Please, don't fight with me. I just came to tell you and warn you because time is running out. As much as the devil knows that his time is up, he's creating a lot of calamity and confusion and the collateral damage is the children of the world. Wake up. Stop and then find yourself as a Christian. Be a born again. And before you can say you are really a born again, in the name of Jesus Christ, ask yourself, are you transformed first? And I want to go to the pastor wives. You pastor wives that are looking like Jezebel hopes at the pit Latino brothel of hell. I just want to ask you, have you seen the spirits that you people are carrying that have infested Africa? Look at the younger girls. They do not know how to save God in truth and spirit. Brother Wilson. Hi, baby. Hi, darling. <laughs> Sisters, now only one man again. Oh, baby, again. I beg. For power coffee, I don't get chill up. Brother Wilson is allowed to call him baby. His wife allows me anyway. I beg, I ask for permission. His wife said I can call him baby. Brother Wilson, Brother Wilson, I miss you. I will, I will call you. I will not lie. 
because I will put you in here on life, but I think I shouldn't do that because of disgrace. But anyway, as I was saying, go back and go and read your Bible. Before the church condemned the gay, before the church condemned all of this, this day the message is, are you conformed to this world still or you've been transformed and renewed by the Holy Spirit of the Lord? Which one are you? And it's very easy. I love you, sweet and little brother. Come, let's give each other a kiss. This is my brother, sister. There are some certain people, even if you don't talk to them, this man doesn't know how much is in my heart. But his story, I've said testimony already here. But brother Wilson, when I meet you in person, that's when we shall testify. Wait, I'm a person, person, not in that connection. And you know, there are a lot of witches, brother Wilson, here. Internet is full of witch, witchcraft and occultism and wickedness. Please, I'm sending you new love for Jesus. Let me give you this big hug. Oh, yeah. I miss you, it's been a long time. Anyway, let me close. This was the message. Go back. Go back. When you go to Jesus, when you go to God, God starts to take off everything he doesn't like. It's up to you to leave it. But if you do not leave what God does not like, please, don't think that God is with you. God left a long time ago. And God will not stay there. Brother, will you, am I like? God will not stay on your door to be begging for you. Leave makeup alone. Mm -mm. That's why pastor wives are going with makeup. And I'm looking at pastors. Pastors, you can love your wives so much. Compromise with them and for them. Heaven, not go compromise for no man. No. Not even for me. Ah! Stop playing here yeah, yeah, with the Lord. Oh. Go see your own life and your own time. Go and look at your life. It's just not the dress code. It's the lifestyle, the character, the behavior, the moral, the standard, and the way. Because even gossiping, slander, malice, backbiting. I beg. You cannot be transformed by the Lord and you are still having these bad ways. I beg, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop lying. You cannot become a, a transformed by the Lord every time you ask, you see people, why do you speak like this country? Prejudice, behavior, racism, apartheid, and the hatred, bitterness within you. He who is transformed in the Lord, how can you always see bitterness? Because Jesus saw the wickedness of Judas Iscariot. And not even one day did Judas call out Judas Iscariot that is wicked. How come people are coming here on my page every day? They are so transformed. I die you are bitter. I die you are too proud. I die you are too angry. What conform? Liars, your time will come. Me, I know I'm not perfect. And I know that I do not know that I'm going, I don't have guarantee that I'm in heaven. I'm working on my salvation. That's why I come here every day and I share the revelations of the Lord shares with me so that somebody else can come out. Internet, Facebook, all of this. The day was prepared for you a platter. Stop eating on it. May God have blessed all of you. I'll see you people tomorrow. We are going to hear what is there for tomorrow. What the Lord wants me to do. And later on tonight, I'll come for 30 minutes. Because of that, I see a lot of women writing comments here about husbands leaving you. That matter when you start crying, women, you will make me join you here on life crying. Because even me, when I think of my kitty situation, I get cry like I don't want to have told the God of Abraham. Do things quick, Lord, because I will go mad by the time I go to Zambia. Please don't let me do what I. I thought the Lord I said, you know, Lord, you know your children. There are some dear people, you, you do not dare them, you do not even try them. What they say they will do, they will do it. So the Lord knows. I thought the Lord I said, I have three sons. You don't want me to end up in jail. Sort it in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why I know the revenge of Ebenezer Moy. Lord, I thank you for the revenge that you will put on that Zolama Futa Holy Asata. Praise the Lord. So to all of you married women, I'll see you people, eh? Come in the evening. Let's finish now for the word of God. We are going to have prayer around 10 o'clock tonight. 30 minutes. We are going to pray. We are going to commit all the women who are married and crying for their homes. I know how you feel. As a woman, I can imagine. I'm going to join you people in prayer. This one, I want to join it personally. I want to join it personally because they are Ill. these women who are taking marriages away. You are wicked, rebellious, stubborn, wicked, ruthless women. That if you are warned in peace and you have been given love by the women in the, the owners of the marriage, you think they are weak. 
The women of the owners of the houses, they are playing fair game and they are, they are feeling sorry for you people. Me, I said the God who tells me that he shall reward every man according to his deed. I am about to ask the Lord to reward you first for destroying somebody's marriage and for ruining children's foundation. And yes, because of that, because it's true and it's righteousness and it's for his goodness. Some of you need to leave this man alone. Ebenezer, I'm pish Alex. Okay, boom, I'm going to warn again. Leave that marriage alone. Your children will bury you before you ever finish that marriage. And you will never come back with anything. And all the things you post with all the people on Facebook who are helping you to ruin my sister's marriage, you will die in Jesus' name. I promise you. Because if you did not know that it's a married man, different thing. You girls are ruthless. You actually search for married men. So to every married woman, I'll see you 10 o'clock tonight. We go pray. I don't like it. I don't like side chicks. I have a personal vengeance of the Holy Ghost for side chicks. And I want side chicks once. And I've got side chicks that have cried in the end. So when I say let's fast, I don't play. It's your home. If somebody is disturbing your home, get into fasting. Let heavens open for you. If they die in real life, let them die. They are wicked. They wanted to kill your family, isn't it? Let that wicked Jezebel die in Jesus' name. Period. And that's no vengeance. You want to ruin my life. That Jesus has blessed me. You want to do what God has put together. Let no man, let no man separate. Not that they are. I don't say that I'm the right way. I'm following a protocol. Commandment. Stricture. Spray a scripture, I mean. I follow the commandment, the protocol, and the scripture of the Lord. So to all my sisters, I'll see you 22 hours tonight. Have a blessed night. God bless all of you and I love you. Remember, be transformed, not conformed to this evil world. God loves you too much. Wake up and 